Hi, Taurus. It's Power Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own reading, right? And so, hope you guys are all well. These are general readings, so uh, please don't, you know, live or die by them. No. Mm -mm. And uh, don't live or die by, uh, try not to live or die by the kind of culture that they have imposed on us. Yeah, try not to do that because... Um, it's just to create fear and things like that. But let's get into it, you guys, because your reading's real, really great. I feel like it is. Uh, or uh, at least very interesting, right? We, have, we start here, Taurus, with the lion spirit. We also have the lion over here. So, I mean, maybe there's a Leo in your life. But, uh, you know, this lion spirit is be generous of spirit. Then we have the wheel of fortune. We're going to talk about that. This is the 10 of hearts. Let's see what they have to say. It's the 10 of cups, but they call this the wheel of fortune. This is destiny. The fans blow the winds of fate this way and that. All right. So, uh, mm -hmm. somebody's coming here and you are supposed to be generous with your, with your love, like take a chance, right? As you dance in romance. And I say that because this person is your destiny. They are. Maybe they're Sagittarius, right? Because of the wheel of fortune. But be generous of spirit because they are your destiny. Happiness. We see the woman here. Yeah, she's real happy, right? She has uh, the butterflies here. She does. And, you know, she's looking up in the sky doing something. Then we have courage. Yeah. Now we have she who guides for a new path, guide and renewal. And then we have cancer. So this person might be cancer. They could be, right? Uh, they don't have to be, no. Uh, they could be any sign. But what your reading is saying, Taurus, is that, you know, your reading is asking you to be generous with your heart because this person is your destiny. Yeah, uh, you're going to have happiness and a new beginning with this butterfly here. But you have to have courage for this renewal. And this person is, this person is your tribe because... We have destiny here, and then we have this cancer card talks about basically your tribe because cancer is all about family. Yeah, they're always looking for their tribe. Uh, I remember when my son moved when he was a teen. He, was, uh, he wasn't a teenager. He was maybe nine. Maybe he was 20, but he had his own place uh, and a real cute place, right? This is in his apartment, you know, out in the suburbs, whatever. And, you know, he worked there, and he was happy and this and that. But... After a while, he goes, I'm going to go move with, uh, with my daughter, uh, and, and like some other roommates, right? Because he was looking for his tribe. Yeah. He goes, I'm going to go move with Daniela and, uh, and Rena and uh, a couple other people. Right. And so they all lived in this huge house. Right. But, uh, yeah, he was looking for his tribe. So now he's a family man. So he found his real tribe. He did. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we have for for Taurus, please. We have the Queen of Wands. All right. Maybe that's your person. Let's see. Coming. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Doesn't have to be. Four of Wands. You have the Sun card and the Judgment card. You have a rebirth with somebody. Wow. Somebody made a decision already in the recent past to come forward. What's on your mind is the Eight of Cups. Maybe you know this person's coming and they're walking away from another situation. You might be walking away from somebody here to return to who you believe is destiny. Wow, but there's definitely a renewal here. I feel like there's an awakening. Let's see what else we have. And there's a decision with judgment. I feel like there is. You're supposed to trust this. You have to be... You have to be generous. It's interesting how uh, they show the lion uh, when they talk about, you know, generosity or being generous with your love and your spirit, right? Because typically the lion is courage, but, you know, there could be something I, I'm not sure of uh, about lions because I'm definitely not a zoologist. No, I haven't been to the zoo in years and years. <laughs> See what else we have? We have the two of swords. Wow. So you have your, somebody has their clarity here, but I feel like what this is, somebody's making a decision for their happiness and their joy. They are. We have happiness here. 
So this is either you returning to whoever you, whomever you believe is your destiny, or they're returning to you, but there has to be courage here. Yeah. There has to be courage and somebody has to be willing here to give this a try. So let's see why you have the eight of cups, which is on your mind. You might be waiting for this person to kind of walk away from somebody else and have courage possibly to do that for this renewal. Yeah. Eight of pentacles now. So we have two eights together. Eights are about progress. They can be about change, but they're about progress, typically. Get another card. Three of Pentacles. You want this person, it's either you or them, but this is about coming forward to, like, put your best effort in and possibly walk away from somebody else. This is kind of interesting here. It's also possible that sometimes it's, it's just being emotionally unfulfilled, But it looks like there's another situation here, right? It could be. Uh, but this, this decision or judgment is going to bring joy and happiness. And you have your clarity here, or this is Leo, but, you know, even if it's Leo, because we have the sun and we see these lions here. Let's see what else we have, though. Queen of Pentacles, reverse Taurus, that's you. So, you know, you are either having a hard time possibly maybe trusting somebody or you're going to, or this is you walking away from somebody else here, or uh, maybe just leaving something in the past with the same person where there was no joy or not no joy, but I just feel like you, you couldn't work it out with them. It's because this looks like a renewal and this person's coming back or you're doing it right. And, uh, this is somebody who is your destiny, fate and destiny. Yeah. Queen of swords here. So you're wondering here if you're going to be happy with this person. I feel like you are. You could be also wondering Taurus, if this person is making this decision to return to you, because we have judgment right here as a renewal, as a rebirth, we have the Hierophant. Wow, that's probably you, but you could be wondering if you're going to marry them or, and you could be wondering for some of you guys, if this person's walking away from a marriage, eight of cups, the Hierophant, because, you know, we don't, we don't like support that kind of stuff, but this is life, right? It is. And this is what happens, right? Yeah. I mean, we have to have courage in this world. We do, especially, uh, what they throw at us every other day here. Uh, yeah, but the wheel of fortune is here. So we could be saying here in this reading, I don't, when I say that, I don't mean your person, right? But when the wheel of fortune is here, this reading looks like it's saying that somebody is your destiny and you're going to have to have courage to embrace it. I feel like to give them another chance. Remember that judgment is also forgiveness. Yeah. When we see the angel. We're supposed to forgive, right? We, I feel like we are right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love angels. When I was a kid, my grandma had, uh, she had a big picture of angels on the wall, right? Uh, I thought it was so beautiful. And they were all, you know, they were all, they were all kids, these angels. Or they were all like, either, either they were kids or they were very young, right? We have the Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, rather the Magician reversed. Maybe there's Aries here. This is in the near future here. See if I flip the cards though. Yeah, I did. Well, let me see here. Yeah, I did. This is in the upright. Yeah, that's much better. I feel like it is. <laughs> yeah, let's put these cards in the right direction. Um, mm -hmm. Magician, Ten of Cups, you're going to manifest this. And this is your happily ever after, Taurus. In your environment is the Two of Cups. These people are embracing like, honey, I'm glad. I'm glad you, you came back, right? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm so, you know, wow. And the cat is here. So somebody's trusting their intuition. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, this is something to trust, right? It is definitely two of wands reversed, three of wands. This is in your concern. You're not sure here. Like this could be about your person though. 
You might not be sure if they've chosen or if they've made this final decision. Sometimes judgment is a final decision. Of course, there's some finality here because uh, these were dead people, right? Yeah, Elphine, right? <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Your concern here is this new beginning, Taurus. He's launching the bird. And we have the King of Pentacles reversed. You could be dealing with another earth sign, but this is... When we see the wheel of fortune and destiny, we know this is meant to be because this is a divine couple, the queen and the king of pentacles reversed. I feel like one of the, at least one of those is you, the ace of cups in your environment. Somebody here, you're either asking them to return to you or they're returning to you. It looks like they're returning to you and, but you're not like. You have either some doubt, not doubt about them, but about kind of their journey to come to you. Something like that. This two of wands reversed. And you have the two of swords in your hopes. See, this is kind of like, let's see what else. The hermit reversed. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You might not know where this person is entirely like, about their journey because this eight of cups over here somebody is doing something here like on some on some type of journey like well we know it's a journey but they're like somebody could be dealing there could have been a third party for some three of pentacles here three of wands we have this two of, of wands reversed it's like somebody was at a crossroads but they no longer are because they know somebody is their fate and destiny. Yeah, let's see what else we have. We have the star and the three of cups reversed. And, you know, a lot of majors kind of in this reading. Judgment, the hierophant, the sun, the magician, the hermit, the star, and the lovers. All right here, right? So, you know, we could, there could be a Gemini and Aquarian here, but... It's, it's more about the energies here. Uh, I feel like it is. So this is in your outcome here. Yeah, you're either making a choice for this, as I said, right? This is somebody you love too, because the two of cups and the ace of cups is in your environment. The choice has been made. I feel like there's some type of a third party ending right here. Three of cups reversed. The star card. Somebody's making a choice. Somebody's like deciding. Like it looks like your person is deciding. They've made a judgment here to return to you. And I feel like this person feels like your fate and destiny. And you could feel the same way. As I said, we have the queen and the king of pentacles reversed. And this right here, regardless of the sign, I said one of them's you, could be like soulmates right here. And you guys are both in the reverse. You guys are both like, hold my hand, right? This is uh, not so easy. There's something difficult going on in this reading. And somebody could be like possibly being left out here, right? And there was a crossroads at one point, but now it's like, go for it. Yeah. If you, if you accept this, Taurus, or you are generous of spirit with your wheel of fortune or with your fated person, you're going to have happiness, but you have to have courage right here because I read these Oracle cards in the order they come out. In other words, this helps me write, uh, kind of, you know, interpret the reading for a renewal right here, because this is your tribe. This person is your tribe with the cancer card here. They're your family. This is your soul family, right? Yeah. You guys both speak the same language. The language of love and intuition, I believe. Yeah. You might know this person's your soulmate. You might totally know this. We're going to end the reading, Taurus. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.